We know that markets all over the world require um, additional traction in snowy conditions, in winter conditions. And uh, winter mode was a, a way of getting that additional traction through the vehicle, down onto the road surfaces, but in a neat package and all integrated within the new Jaguar drive control. But in XJ and XK are cars that you would expect to be able to drive year round and winter mode really allows for four seasons driving in a Jaguar. The, the winter mode will give you better control over the car. It, it, it will help you be a better driver. Winter mode is really easy to activate. It's right there behind the Jaguar Drive Selector, a little button with a snowflake icon and a vehicle driving in snow. Press that for a couple of seconds, it'll light up, you know it's activated. Winter mode comes up with the icons again, so you know that it's running, you know that it's there, you know that you've got improved traction. It's very easy to activate. You can do it on the fly. You can turn it off and on at any time. You can be in any gear while you're moving, while you're stopped. So when you're thinking about winter mode, you need to think about the four Ts. You're looking for traction, throttle control, torque delivery, and transmission changes. All of those in combination give you more stability on the road and greater control of the vehicle in winter conditions. When you activate winter mode, the first thing you're going to notice when you're driving is the throttle response, and it really dampens the throttle response. And the idea is to kind of slow your inputs down as a driver so that uh, you don't get any sudden throttle movements which could break the car loose, break traction loose on the car. So as you press the pedal there, you actually get a smoother progression of the torque through the vehicle, which sends less power directly to the wheels and stops them from spinning. The other thing that the car does is we'll start the car in second gear on level surfaces when you're in winter mode. Kind of put some dampening in the response of the acceleration. First gear is great for jackrabbit starts and getting great zero to 60 times, but that's not what you're looking for on snow. You're looking for assured, smooth progress. If you're on a road with packed snow, you can select Track DSC, which then monitors and puts the appropriate power to the different wheels to keep you moving along and give the overall vehicle more stability. The benefits of winter mode over a standard all-wheel drive system are really about having the capability when you need it. Winter mode is there at the touch of a button. All-wheel drive is there all year round. All-wheel drive is a great feature for what it is, but it has a lot of compromises as well. All-wheel drive adds a tremendous amount of weight to a car, and it also really dilutes the purity of the handling of the car. All-wheel drive, maybe there'll be two times a year when you feel like you really need it, but for the rest of the year, you're just dragging around a couple hundred pounds of weight, which is really hurting your fuel economy. When you drive, you feel more confident with the way the car is handling. You feel like the car is responding the way you want it to. When you're in winter mode, it's no longer scary. It's more of just a cold weather inconvenience. It's just a push of a button, so it's, it's very simple. And uh, when it's on, it's on. You can see it on your dashboard. I've got to tell you, when I first moved to America and landed here in the snow belt, I wasn't sure what to expect through the winter conditions, but this last winter that we went through with very severe snow conditions, I had a wonderful experience with winter mode. It was there when I needed it, it kept me moving, and there wasn't a single occasion where the vehicle itself didn't get me to where I needed to be.